Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have a brand new update for most Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now this update updates the Samsung Music application and it gives us two brand new widgets, as you can see, and they're much more functional than the old boring widgets. So I'm gonna show you what they do, but to download this update, you wanna click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you wanna scroll down just a little bit under download, simply click the link. It's gonna take you to the store, and then from there, you can update Samsung Music. So just click on update, I already had mine done, so it's, you're not gonna see the update button here. But anyway, let's go back and see what's happening over here. So real quick, let me show you what we have in the old times before this update, which was a couple days ago. So over here, I took a screenshot. That's the old widget that we have. And then this is what it looked like in the widget screen, just one little widget, okay? Now, we have two of them, as you can see, and this one is extremely functional. So, so for example, if you're uh, playing a specific album on your uh, Samsung Music application, the, the album is gonna show up right here, and then all the tracks within that album are gonna show over here, as you can see. This is absolutely fantastic. This one is the, almost the same as before, but with a slightly different shape. It looks a little bit more modernized. But basically what you do is you pinch the screen, okay? There's other things you can do. I'm gonna show that to you in a second as well. Tap on widgets, and then you go to Samsung Music, and now you can see that we have two of these guys, okay? Again, I showed you guys earlier, in the past, we only had one, as you can see. I just took a screenshot before the update. Now we have two. So you pinch the screen, go to widgets, tap over here, switch between the two, okay? This one is the simple one. This one is the more advanced one. It says player and queue. So if I grab this and dump it on the screen right here, for example, here's the good part. I can resize it. So I can actually have, let me remove this guy right here. Let me remove this uh, app here, the shortcut, press and hold. I can actually have an entire page, home page just for my music application. And like I said, you see the album on the top here, the name, the artist, uh, the uh, thumbnail, and then all the actual tracks within that album. Now, again, if you go to Samsung Music, okay, and if I go back here, if I pick something else from here and start playing that. Uh, it should be. Now, when I go back out, you're gonna see it's gonna change to the other album. So it's a dynamic little widget, changes but what, by what you do in the music app. But what I really love is, now I don't have to go to the app, I can control it from here, okay? For a specific album, and of course you got all the play, pause, next, and all that good stuff, okay? So just a quick update, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.